Hi, I'm Ashley Curalo, sharing my heart, music, and home. And today I want to share a little secret with you about cleaning that I've recently discovered. If you know me personally, you know that I value simplicity. And one area that I really value simplicity is in taking care of my home. Cleaning a home can be so overwhelming and I can raise my hand to shedding tears over taking care of this wonderful but messy thing called home. To begin with, I wanna encourage you that if any of the following are true, then your house is likely to be messy at some point. If you have humans living in your house, especially the tiny variety, if you are the primary caregiver for your children and don't have a lot of outside help, if you homeschool, if you actually let your kids have fun and play with multiple toys at the same time and do messy things like art projects, if any of those things are true in your life, then your house is bound to get messy at some point. Complex cleaning lists can be really overwhelming to me. Inevitably, I can't get everything done that's on the list. I have a general cleaning cycle that I follow and it takes me about two weeks. I start from the top of my house and I work down. Um, I clean the upstairs, dust, vacuum, then I sweep down the stairs and then I dust, vacuum, sweep everything in the downstairs, clean the bathrooms, clean the kitchen as well. As a busy homeschool mom who struggles with low energy, spending a long time cleaning my home is not of interest to me and it's really not physically feasible for me either. If I have to pick between working on my business or sitting on the couch and reading books with my kids, absolutely I'm going to pick those things over having a perfect house. Yet at the same time, Maintaining my home is very important to me, and that's something that my mother really instilled in me, the importance of taking care of my surroundings and taking care of my home. For many people, it works for them to set aside maybe two hours on the weekend or even on a weeknight and just do a blitz cleaning and clean the whole house. That method really does not work very well for me. I don't have big chunks of time like that, nor do I have the energy to be cleaning for two straight hours. So I have discovered a little secret that I want to share with you, something that has been working for me and it might work for you. Are you ready for this? It is so simple that it might just blow you away. What I've started to do is each weekday, I set aside 15 minutes for concentrated cleaning. And oftentimes I include my kids in this 15 minute cleaning time period and we have affectionately called it chore time. What I do is I set my phone timer for 15 minutes and then my kids and I try to get done as much as we possibly can. More often than not, when the timer dings, I will keep cleaning for another 10 or 15 minutes and then my kids are done. I don't make them clean beyond the 15 minute timer. 15 minutes is not as daunting as trying to clean my whole house all at once or trying to clean for several hours at a time. 15 minutes is doable. 15 minutes is manageable. And most of us have a pocket of 15 minutes here and there. Once I started this routine of cleaning for 15 minutes each day, I really started to notice some wonderful things. First, my kids are learning how to clean and take care of the home that we've been given. I've started to notice a glow in my home, a nice clean glow from the inside out. Is my house perfect? Absolutely not, but I'm making progress. There's always mess, there's always dirt. That's just part of life but I'm starting to gain some traction in my home and that has been really exciting to see. The main key for me has been consistency, doing a little bit each day. I used to be kind of a blitz person that tried to get one massive project done all at once, but I'm realizing that that does not work very well for me physically, doesn't work very well for me in my time or my schedule. The most success I've had in working on my home is working in little segments at a time. It's manageable, I can do it, and I see progress. Now I have a few cleaning confessions to make with you. Do I do 15 minutes every single weekday, Monday through Friday? More often than not, we don't get to it every single day. But I will say on average, my kids and I probably do official chore time probably at least three days a week. And it has really been fun to see the progress in our home and see their development in taking care of our home. Another confession that I have to make is I do do some daily chores that I don't count in this 15 minute block. And some of the daily things that I do are doing a light clean of my kitchen, wiping the table, the counters, sweeping the floor. I also go through my house several times a day, picking things up, putting them away, sending my kids up the stairs to put their things away. Another thing I try to do, if the laundry basket is full, I throw a load in the washer. 
floors are just visibly dirty. Even if I'm not officially sweeping that day, I try to get the broom out and just do a quick sweep. If cleaning is not your thing, like me, maybe just try setting your phone for 15 minutes and see what you can do. I know that you will make progress in your home and I know that you will be thrilled with the results if you will just start consistently cleaning a little bit each day. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.